All right. First lady forever blue coming at you with another chart confession. Just doing some mock-ups for what I'm going to do this upcoming week. It is Sunday, October, not October, November 4th, I believe it is. Um, so just looking at uh, NZD CAD. First, always going to start out on the daily time frame. Always do a top-down analysis to see where you are. Find key levels in the market. So basically, this is a bare naked chart. I um, want to show you what I see. Um, in reference to zones, harmonic patterns, structure, and things of that nature. So, first, what I'm going to do is I, I see, um, of course, this low right here. It's a higher low. And it's this low right here. This higher low has been broken. So now we are currently in an uptrend. So I'm just going to mark out this area right here. The strong level of resistance. I'm going to make sure that this level right here has been uh, tested as support and resistance, which is going to give me a good opportunity, a, a good um, idea that this level is respected. It is strong, and as you can see at this level right here, it has been respected as resistance. It has been respected as support here, and in this area here, you can also see it's support, support. And so now it has broken this level of support and needs to be tested as resistance um, as far as let's see it's another level of support right here and right here it was resistance this is where I, this is how I find um, strong levels of support and resistance and what I use um, for my areas where the market when price reaches it is going to have a nice reaction and so I just to give me some oops, excuse me right there just to give me some good visuals as to where I'm looking at or what happens when I get to this area I just like to just draw a nice little zone around there so we have a level here as well and this down here would signify a nice little buy area once price reaches here and here would be a sell area we know price has not come back to test this as resistance as, as of yet and it's probably what it's getting ready to do um, I see the strong move upwards right here and I see a nice little pullback and I also see a another pullback has not broken this high has created a lower high and then we have a sharp move down so as a harmonic person that I am I start to measure out to see what it is that we are seeing here so from relative low to relative high we are looking at looks like a 50 percent possibly yeah, let's see, is it 618? Not a 618, 618 is too low. So we're looking at a 50%. And let's see, oh, A to B point. A to B, we're looking at, come on. We're probably looking at a 618, 786. 786. And just clean this up a little bit. The 786, and then we also have our D point, which is the XAD point. It's 886. So this is giving me a clear indication that this is a bat formation. We always want to have a second level of confluence. So we're going to do an A, B, A. And we have 1618. I like to bring it down all the way to price. And we see a nice, nice fib cluster, a nice tight zone. Price has come down, has hit it, has created a double bottom. Let me get rid of these arrows here just to clean it up. Just wanted to show you. Sometimes this happens here. Yeah, 
just wanted to show you how to see how I see the market. So it's created a double bottom here, which is showing me good candlestick patterns for a reversal. A reversal in a nice zone. We know this is a zone. Look left. Structure leaves clues. So we have a nice zone here. And it is Sunday, Monday. So what I'm waiting for is for this trend line to break. So it's probably going to dip a day like here and then head over this way. And head up. And this is just on the daily chart. Now if I wanted to drop down to see a, not a possible entry how to get in. I'm going to drop down to a nice trading level. Which would be a, a one hour chart or even a, a four hour chart depending on how you're trading. And, and what is it that you see? You can look and see. I, I see possibly another harmonic pattern which is going to give me an indication of where I could possibly enter um, this trade right around right around there that's what I'm looking at so I'm going to look to place a I guess a buy you say a buy limit right around here that's perfect right around there and let's get my second level of confluence just to see where we are and things and look at that a beautiful area to um, place a trade to take, take place a buy limit actually and then just take it all the way up so that is my chart confession again I always tell people I recommend that you learn harmonics it gives you a nice good um, education on where the market is going where the market is going to make reversals where to enter into the market and so forth and so on and so it just makes your trading a bit more easier to see what's going on to see how you can trade and, and win big anyway until my next chart confession i'll talk to you guys later have any questions hit me up on facebook